Tony some real money in the room. Um, By somebody. So Raymond Washington, he was killed. 1979. 1979. August. Tookie Williams was, was arrested, arrested. 1979. February. I was with Tookie when I got out the halfway house. I told Took such and such. We didn't have no word called telling. I mean, a rat or a snitch. At the very least, we might say, hey, man, this nigga here telling. And I told Took because he asked me to come. I got the picture on my phone, in fact, the day it happened. I was getting out the halfway house to see my same son for the first time that was born in 77. I'm getting out February. Took he get arrested at the end of February. In fact, we'll go by the house on the way back and I'll show you where he got arrested and I'm gonna show you with that murder that he say he didn't do that, he didn't do. Now with Raymond Washington, he get killed in August. By then, I don't rob two jewelry stores where I'm at the halfway house and I see Raymond right about the day before he get killed. I'm coming back from gambling off the east side and at this time, we giving him a little bit of jewelry. You know, we, we all together because he got out of prison hanging with us. And what I mean by that, he started fooling around in the low riders and cars, uh, Ray Sean, his daughter, and all that. So, and the images of Raymond and Tookie them aren't the images that this world project. I'd never seen Tookie with a gun until he got shot in Compton and until they caught him for the murder he got. Took he didn't need no gun. Raymond Washington, never seen him with no gun. They were fighters. Big Jack, Michael Christian, all these guys were fighters. In fact, all of us were fighters. Then the gang started using the weapons. But other than that, that's a, it wasn't took he then, it was the younger core where we could do a murder and you only get two years. Carjacking was a sight out. Get caught with a gun, they give it back. They made the juvenile fitness hearing that affects Charleston White. He got tried as an adult. He just didn't make it, but them other ones got tried. They made that law in 1975, when you look it up on the Supreme Court, where they made that law behind the behavior of the kids, specifically in Los Angeles, brown or black, to where the Supreme Court had to make a decision to whether we're gonna keep letting these Jews get rehabilitated or we're gonna punish them. And that's when they started the fitness hearing that's universally used. The juvenile fitness hearing is behind the behavior of the youths in LA when the Crips were starting. They realize it's not the older ones, it's the younger ones. And that's how you had that tradition nine days to where they tell the little ones to go put in the work. Mm. But that don't work now because they can get tried as an adult. But the thing with us, Tookie them or none of them never, I don't know nobody I knew that would tell somebody to go do something that they could do themselves. So nine days you're here, are oh, these older guys telling these guys what to do? Are they doing this? Don't get us mixed up with what you see now. It's not the same. Nobody I know in my era, and I know a lot of them, that are talking about not helping the youth come back and not do what they do. Nobody. Nobody. Well, I wanted to ask, um, you founded the eight tray gangster crips we started off as gangster crips and it wasn't just no i it's a whole lot of elements too many times in this game you have to be real careful with that word i because niggas don't want to hear the truth and they be on told lies about what they did now we got a conflict of interest where we close to home so i like to spread the wealth it wasn't just me although i could say it or with Frog, or with Hillbilly, or with a uh, uh, half ounce that just got killed, the rapper. His daddy was from A Trey, Gangster Crip. Yeah. His name was Latarius uh, uh, Bryant, half ounce that got killed. 
His daddy name is Tommy O'Brien. In fact, I'll show you a picture of him when we get up. Then you got 03 Gretto. His daddy's a West Side Crip. Michael Jackson, that's Jason Jackson, Lisa Jackson, and Michael Jackson are those three. Those are my godsons. So, it ain't just me. I was a founder. I'm a member of the West Side Crips. Then when Tookie and them moved and we started breaking in the sets, by the age of 15 and a half, me, Frog, Hot Dog, and Rafe and them end up coming, Hunchy, uh, 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 Baycott, uh, Xcon, Track, Evil, Devil, the originals. We all, so I always like to include those that were there. And uh, when we started, what you seeing now, how they doing all these crazy killings, that we played with honor. We played with honor. We didn't go out and hurt no kids. We didn't go out, we kept it within the boundaries of those that signed up to do that. So y'all will get this OG shit mixed up with when we first started, because most of us didn't gang bang no longer than about 17. We were starting to go get money by then. Well, we already had been robbing ice cream trucks, or armored trucks by 15. And this is not an exaggeration. So by the time we was 18 or so, most of the original Crips, we had one on to something else and the other ones come up. But that don't mean we didn't go to war. See, people say, oh, they weren't active. But y'all forget about the war where we had to go fight 20 years and start all over hand to hand because there was no Crips in prison. But they were too young to go. That's why Raymond and them had such a problem of surviving where they wasn't getting in trouble or Big Bob and them that did the Robert Ballou murder because the Crips wasn't old enough to go to prison. So we terrorized and got into stuff all in juvenile hall, all the way because you could stay till 21, like in Texas, or 25 if you've been committed after the age of 17, 18 at that time. So uh, uh, it was a whole different ball game, man. And it, it just was, uh, at the end of the day, was it worth it? So, and I, hmm? I just want to tell everybody, you know, when we was growing up, we used to see kids that was mowing the lawn, and we laughed at them. See them working at McDonald's, we laughed at them. But now at the end of the day, they were way smarter than us. They retired, they with their kids, and every day I'm out here where if it costs a quarter of the shit, I might have to throw up. But this is the difference. We still are honorable. Your word is your bond. Times get rough, times get hard. But I ain't gonna never kick no man down. Never. Hey, real tone, it's a real money in the room.